Not everyone gets to look at themselves in a museum. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. It's a pretty crazy feeling, but so proud. But that's what happens when you're the daughter of a rock star. All my life I've had that sense that my family story was out in the world, you know, so I kind of don't know anything else. Meet Galadriel Allman. You may have heard of her dad. I never can get enough of Dwayne Allman's guitar lyrics. I like their music. You know, he writes with the top guitarist, in my opinion, in this world. This is a really cool room. This Sunday, she was back in Macon, highlighting her book about Dwayne Allman at the Big House, one of the places that helped shape who the Allman brothers would become. Macon is almost like another character in my book because it's, it's really the place where everything started. It's where the family started and the band started, and there was a real sense of community for them here. It's also where Galadriel spent her earliest years learning to walk and talk. But everything changed back in 1971 when Duane Allman was killed in a motorcycle accident here at the corner of Hillcrest and Bartlett. Galadriel was only two. By then, her parents had already split up and she was living with her mom and eventually started a career outside music. But in the back of her mind, she always wondered about the dad she never knew. You almost don't feel entitled to seize that history for yourself because it doesn't feel clear to you where you fit into the picture. You don't have, it's almost like you don't have half of yourself. So she set out on a five-year journey to find out more. The result was her book, Please Be With Me. It makes the whole story more inspiring when you, when you see him in his totality and you don't just sort of make him into a hero because he really did work hard and sacrifice a lot to do that. So that's really what my story brings is the sense of the arc of his life and how he developed as a person. It's a story she now gets to share with fans who she sometimes felt knew more about her dad than she did. It's really interesting stuff that's told from a different perspective, more from the women's perspective. So it's a fresh approach. It is the best book ever written about the Allman Brothers, and I have read them all. A story only a daughter could tell. And this was my dream, and now it's come true. In Macon, Tom George, 13 WMAZ Eyewitness News.